hello guys welcome to the physics lesson in today's physics lesson we'll be looking at uh, what is called zero error okay so without further ado let's go straight into the lesson so what is zero error zero error is the reading shown on a measuring instrument when it is not measuring anything here yeah. so if you have a measuring instrument and then it shows some reading when it is not measuring anything then it has what we call zero error let's say we have this venia caliper which you know very well from the previous lessons we know that these jaws are called the inside jaws and then these jaws here are called the outside jaws and then this scale here which runs from zero here up to nine which is marked in centimeter here this scale is called the main scale and then this scale which runs from 0 to 15 here it is called the vernier scale all right if we close the jaws of the vernier caliper and if the zero mark on the main scale coincides with the zero mark on the vernier scale then the vernier caliper does not have a zero error okay what we mean is if we close these jaws here like this uh, we close them and then the zero mark on the main scale here coincides okay this zero mark on the main scale coincides with the zero mark on the venous scale like they are coinciding here or making a straight line then there is zero error in this apparatus or there is no zero error in this venia caliper here okay so we are saying but if we close the jaws of a venia caliper and the zero mark on the main scale does not coincide with a zero mark on the venia scale then the venia caliper has a zero error okay so what we mean is that if we close these jaws of the venia caliper and then the zero mark of the main scale here doesn't coincide with the zero mark of the venia scale then there is a zero error here because if you can see here this zero mark of the main scale is not coinciding with the zero mark of the venia scale meaning that the venia caliper in this case has got what we call a zero error okay so since the zero mark on the venia scale is on the left of the zero mark of the main scale this type of error is called the negative zero error here yeah. so what we mean here is that since the zero mark of the venia scale here is on the left side of the zero mark of the main scale the type of error which this venia caliper has is called the negative zero error okay so let's see how we can find the zero error here so zero error is given by venia scale reading times at least count okay so zero error is given by venia scale reading times least count so where do we get venia scale reading venia scale reading is taken from this point here okay so you look for a mark on the venia scale the venia scale has got these lines down here so you look for a line on the venia scale which makes almost a straight line with another line on the main scale here in this case the line on which this arrow is pointing at is making a straight line with another line on the main scale here so this is the line we are to read from so we read from zero up to this same line so we start from zero one two three four five this long one here then six seven which means that the venia caliper scale reading is actually seven here so if we were to substitute here we would say that the venia scale reading is seven then times least count since this venia caliper is measured in centimeters then it means that the least count is 0 0.01 centimeters according to what we learned in the previous lesson so this will be 0 0.01 centimeters so if we were to multiply 7 times 0 0.01 centimeters we would get 0 0.07 centimeters as our zero error 
here so let's pack our zero error here and then let's assume that um, this same instrument which has the zero error of 0 0.07 centimeters is used now to measure the external diameter of this ring here the diameter the distance from one end of this ring to the other end here called the uh, diameter so if we are using this venia caliper to measure this diameter we would do like this we'll say observed reading is going to be equal to main scale reading plus venia scale reading times least count so this is the formula for getting the reading here so we will say equals then we will read the main scale ms stands for main scale so main scale are values from here up to zero up to nine from zero up to nine on the main scale here so if we were to zoom in here you would see that this mark is what we read from so on the main scale read a mark that appears just before the zero on the venia scale so the mark on the main scale which appears just before the zero mark on the venia scale is this mark here okay so this mark here is actually 1.6 okay why because when reading the main scale you read from zero going to the right side okay so from left to the right side so if this is zero this should be one this should be three uh, i mean this is is zero this is one this is two this is three now we want to know this so if we can't see because it is being obstructed by other things here then what we do here is to read in reverse if this is two then we must know that this should be 1.9 1.8 1.7 this then this should be 1.6 so meaning main scale reading is is equal to 1.6 centimeters there then next we'll read the venia scale venia scale is read from here and you read this line here okay you read this line here this line here which makes a straight line with another line on the main scale here so if you were to check this line at which the arrow is pointing and this line on the main scale they are making almost a straight line so meaning when you're reading you read on the venia scale from zero up to this line so from zero one two three four five this long one then six seven eight which means that the venia scale is equal to eight so we are to substitute now these values into the formula so main scale main scale here it is 1.6 centimeters then plus then venia scale which is equal to now eight so put eight there then times least count as we said is 0 0.01 centimeters then you say equals this keep as it is 1.6 then plus then first of all deal with multiplication so 8 times 0 0.01 centimeters you get 0 0.08 centimeters then you add 1.6 centimeters plus 0 0.08 centimeters you get 1.8 centimeters like that so this is the observed reading now this observed reading contains an error here the zero error so we need now to find the actual reading which is the correct reading which does not have an error so actual reading is given by observed reading plus zero error okay so actual reading is equal to observed reading plus zero error okay so what we are going to do here is to say equals then observed reading is 1.8 centimeters then plus zero error is 0 0.07 centimeters there then we'll say equals then we will add 1.68 centimeters plus 0 0.07 centimeters will give us 1.7 1.75 centimeters as our actual reading okay so next thing let us look at now the other situation so we are saying but if the zero mark on the venia scale is on the right side of the zero mark of the main scale this type of error is called the positive zero error what we mean is let's say we close the jaws and then we discover that the zero of the venia scale is on the right side of the zero of the main scale you see 
this is the, is on the right side of the uh, zero of the main scale then we conclude that the vernier caliper here has got a zero error called the positive zero error okay so now this is how we find the zero error as well so we we'll use the same formula zero error here is equal to vernier scale reading times least count okay then we'll read the vernier scale reading which is this mark here okay so this mark here which makes almost a straight line with another line here okay so if this is zero one two three four five six seven this line here okay so meaning that uh, our vernier scale reading is seven so if we are to substitute here we'll have seven times least count which is 0 0.01 centimeters then we'll say equals seven times 0 0.01 centimeters it will be 0 0.07 centimeters okay so we will put our zero error here and then assume again that this same vernier caliper is used to measure the diameter of a ring here so then the diameter of the ring will be found using this formula here where we'll say observed reading is equal to fs which is main scale plus vs which is a vernier scale times lc which is least count okay which would be equal to main scale it will be this value here again which is almost the same one here which is the uh the mark on the main scale before the zero mark on the vernier scale this one here so again if we were to work from two we if we were to work in reverse from two going this side it will be like two two point uh, one point nine one point eight one point seven one point six so meaning that the main scale here will be one point six centimeters then the vernier scale again here will be this mark here which coincides with the mark on the main scale so the mark on the vernier scale which coincides with the mark on the main scale which is this line here so we can read from zero then one two three four five this long one here then six seven eight okay meaning that our vernier scale is equal to eight so we'll substitute where this main scale we are going to put 1.6 plus vernier scale 8 times least count which is always 0 0.01 centimeters if the vernier caliper is measured in centimeters then we'll say equals then we'll get 1.6 as it is plus 8 times 0 0.01 centimeters which will give us 0 0.08 centimeters then we'll say equals will add 1.0 six eight centimeters plus 0 0.08 centimeters which will give us 1.68 centimeters so this will be the observed reading and this observed reading includes the error the zero error here now the actual reading or correct reading will be equal to now the observed reading minus the zero error okay then if we were to substitute the observed reading which is 1.68 centimeters plus zero error which is 0 0.07 centimeters if we were to subtract 1.68 centimeters minus 0 0.07 centimeters we'll get 1.61 centimeters as the actual reading and this would mean the diameter of the ring here now let's do a recap now we have looked at the zero error zero error is the reading shown on a measuring instrument when it is not measuring anything okay then there are two types of zero errors namely uh, positive and uh, negative zero errors okay the type of the zero error depends on the position of the zero mark on the main scale and the vernier scale scale positive zero error occurs when the zero mark of the vernier scale is to the right of the zero mark of the main scale when the jaws are closed okay this means that the instrument reads more than the actual length of the object okay to correct the zero error the positive zero error we subtract the 
error value from the observed reading this is why we subtracted in the previous uh, calculations we made because that was a positive error which the apparatus had and then we had to subtract it from because the zero error actually uh, is well, shows more than the actual length okay it reads more than the actual length that's what it does so we have to subtract that zero error from there okay then negative zero error occurs when the zero mark of the venia scale is to the left of the zero mark of the main scale when the jaws are closed this means that the instrument reads less than the actual length of the object to correct the negative zero error we add the zero value to the observed reading yeah so you saw in the first uh, example which we did when we got the actual reading for the diameter of the ring we added because the uh, venia caliper had negative zero error meaning it was reading less than the actual length therefore we have to add the zero mark to the i mean the zero error to the actual reading in order to get the correct reading there now to find the zero error of a venia caliper we follow these steps number one close the jaws of the instrument without any object between them then note the position of the zero mark of the venia scale with respect to the zero mark of the main scale if the zero marks coincide there is no zero error if the zero marks do not coincide there is a zero error okay now let's look at the causes of zero errors so zero errors can be caused by a variety of factors such as one manufacturing defects so an instrument can have manufacturing defects or errors just from the factory then wear and tear of the instrument the instrument could have been used for several times and it has now worn out or it is now worn out and it cannot uh, function well so this is wear and tear of the instrument then incorrect handling or usage of the instrument as well yeah we have come to the end of this physics lesson i hope you have enjoyed it if you have give it a like and let me know in the comment section and i'm doing online lessons for science if you want to join you have to call me or whatsapp me on the number on the screen as for now bye this has been your teacher the dms online school peace